M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome back to the channel, TRD Radio H3, and we're just going to use Chirp. So the link is behind here, and I'll put that link in the description. Then we just, on our Windows Square at the bottom here, click the Windows Square, or right-click it, Device Manager, and you'll see the port selection there. Double-click ports, and look, 51, COM51. So then we just go to radio, download from radio. Just going to choose COM51 at the top where it says port. Then the vendor is the TID radio. Then H3 and click OK. You get some instructions and then click OK. And it's loading and I am using the USB-C, not not the twin pin cable and look it's worked fine and there it is so very pleased about that and we can add new channels just put one in here one four five dot six hundred we can name it gb3 wr we can choose tone and the tone you know ctcss we've got our shift here if we need it which we do, we need 0.600 for GB3WR. Oh, you can actually give you the option to choose a split there as well. The plus or the minus, so we want minus for that and we can select the power. And that's how easy it is to use. You've got all your settings here. Just click the other tablet memories, first tab. Second tab is settings. The nice thing is you can copy and paste, can't you? And let's squelch level, light control, you can choose continuous, A and B, scan mode. You've got programmable keys that you can change what they do. I've even put messages in when it powers on. Look, Hamtech, welcome. DTMF works out the box on this thing. And like you can add presets. Broadcast, put in one of your broadcast frequencies. I've not done this one yet, so 94.300. Something like that, or did that not go in? Ah, oh, that's channels work mode. I will play with that. Um, restore tabs, radio, upload, download, enable automatic edits. You can go straight to repeater book. That's very handy, look. Choose your area. Let's go United Kingdom. That's all it's letting me select at the moment. Just click OK for now, see what it does. Maybe you need to log in. Oh, that did do something. Oh, look at that. It's actually gone to United Kingdom and got all these things. So I'm guessing that you can probably copy and paste that. So you just go like so. Let me think now, if you go Control, is it? Control? No. No, I'm gonna say no to that. Um, control. I'm holding control, then going up, no, cancel, no. There you are, control, and then up. And then we can go copy, go back to my channels, my memories, click the top one, right click, paste. Yay, click OK. All right, it's giving you some that aren't suitable, but that's, that's fine. You get the idea, you've got that, you know, you've got repeater book, DMR, mark, Radio reference and present, or oh, I can't say that one. And then we just go upload to radio. Click OK. And it goes back all via our USB-C cable. That is good. See the USB-C on the right? I'm impressed with that. And of course you copy and paste to other radios. Uh, so thanks for watching my YouTube channel. All the links will be in the description. Bye for now. I need to charge it up, don't I? Pretty sure I do. 7-3, all the best.